Good morning everyone, so today we're at a Renault Scenic 3 2013 1.5 DCI and it's my friend's car it went out an extensive run and broke down and the injection warning light came up the dashboard so we had to get recovered home and the recovery guy said it was injector number 4 so I just thought we'd have a little scan and see if we agree with that there we go, so there's nine fault codes within the ECM, so you can see these brakes and everything, preheating. Whenever you see a preheating unit diagnostic connection, fault alerted, that's really a glow plug that's gone. But the big one we're after is this DF029, cylinder 4 injector control circuit incoherent. So, we're wrecking on the Renault, this is number 4, but the easiest way to figure out is disconnect the one next to it and see what fault code is generated. So there's absolutely no reason to do any other checks. It will be the injector. So let's disconnect it. That's it. So there we go. I reckon we've disconnected injector number three. So let's go back into the into the control module. Well, oh, ain't there any of that? Put the light off. So the thing I like about this launch, it gives you the injector codes. So there you go, we'll remember these. We'll take a picture. Because we'll need to encode in a new injector. So we'll go OK, read DTCs. So there's our codes there. Cylinder 4, cylinder 4. Then we'll plunge. So it's never actually... So let's go back, we'll clear the codes. Clear fault codes. OK, memory complete. Read the DTC again. So if I said it doesn't generate faults when it's... Could this start, Stuart, no? Right. Uh, it's not generated any fault codes yet. Is the ignition still on, Stuart? There we go. So, we're right enough, Stuart. We've generated a fault code for cylinder number three. So that indeed... That's number three, so that's number four. So this is the one we want out. So we're just going to whip this injector out. So it's removed this little connection for the leak-off pipes. And it's a 17mm spanner. Always cover over with a rag, in case there's any fuel in it, but... We ran the engine and we've depressurized the fuel system so it should be okay, but it's always wise to take precautions. Is that you? There we go. And it looks like a was a thirteen mil nut yes, Ten, ten mil. Ten mil. Now you're meant to renew these pipes when you do an injector, but I don't know anybody ever does that. So. Right. Anyway, but that's maybe best practice. So that's a 10mm bolt, holds an injector. If that was a Mercedes, I would be worried. They're horrendous. You probably need to disconnect it doing the bottom there to get wiggle room for this. It's wiggling, right? Is it wiggling? Right. Yeah. Oh, you've got room then. Now, this is when the fun starts. Now, is that going to knock back the way? I think that comes back. That's a keeper. So you knock it back the way, then the, the injector lifts up. Alright. That's it. Oh, did you drop it? Oh. Let's see it, Stuart. There we go. There's a keeper. Now, by magic, this should just fall out. <laughs> no chance. Oh, here we go. You've won a watch, man. Maybe. Now, see if your injector's been in the motor a long, long while. Nail varnish remover. Yeah, that's brilliant for taking these injectors out. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So we need, when we get a new injector, we need a new copper washer for the nozzle. So there you go. So I think we're looking at a couple of hundred quid here anyway. But it's no bother to Stuart. Millionaire. <laughs> Again? Okay. <laughs> there we go. 
Right, we'll go and order up a new one. Here's a quick way of checking your glow plugs. So your test light goes to battery positive, then sure it'll hit the negative, always check to see your test light's good, so that's good. So there's a the glow plug down there, so you just got to touch the tip. So that's good, number number four's good. Number three, it does not light, so that's bad. Number two, does not light, that's bad. And number one, does not light. So this car, we've only got one good glow plug. And funnily enough, it's on the bad injector. There we go. So uh, it needs a set of glow plugs. You know, needs a set of glow plugs as well. But should they say it's about a pig to start in the morning? So Renaults do specifically like the glow plugs. I know that. Right here we go. So we've managed to get the the glow plugs out. So we've got to order them from our local supplier. But the shocking thing here was we have also ordered the injector. Now. Believe it or not, Renault actually turned out to be the cheapest. So, at Renault, it works out £155 plus VAT for that injector. And we've tried other our, our normal suppliers, and you were looking about 250 plus VAT. So, sometimes the main dealer can be a bit cheaper than the rest. So, we'll get that in tomorrow, and we'll code it all up, and then I'll show you that procedure. Cheers.